Hey, hey, hey. Well, I'm going to um, get Vegas changed with you guys. And I'm also going to try to make a pacifier um, with you guys. So I think I'm going to do the pacifier first. So I can see if that's going to work. So let's see. So let's have him laid here. This is mama's big boy, so I'm going to take this off. There you go. It's low. Maybe we can turn around and look. All right. There we go. All right. So I'm trying the band aid way of doing a pacifier. I saw this on somebody's channel and I thought. That was a great idea. Might have been simply Sarah said to do it. So I have my these kind of band-aids. I hate doing the hot glue gun. I have to put the stick in and warm it up. I know it sounds just lazy. So that's the side that it's supposed to go on. So this means this side is supposed to go down. So, open up the past the uh, band aid because what it does is it protects it from it like two in one purposes. It protects it from hurting their mouth, and it also holds down the pacifier. I mean the magnet. So. That there. Oh gosh, leave it to me to flip the magnet over. Great. Sorry guys. Something so simple could go so wrong. Cause I am a klutz, and I want to get it perfectly centered. All right. So anyway. All right, so now it's in there and I've put this down and because it, it has a clear around the outside, all you see is that little thing. So let's see, ha ha, and there you have it. Oh, I like that, I like that idea. That's the best idea, yay. So I can make him several pacifiers. Now I'm gonna make up him a whole bunch of pacifiers. Um, and how many come in this? This was like a dollar and 48 cents, and it's 50 in here. And surely I'm not gonna make 50 pacifiers, so wow, that works really good. I like it. So, I just get you some strong magnets, and voila! So, let's get them changed now. Now that mommy solved that problem, I'm so excited about that. <laughs> oh, I'm so silly. I like, it's just simple stuff that make you all giddy inside. And I'm sorry if I'm not giving the correct person credit who came up with that idea to do that. I'm going to take it off for now. But it wasn't my original idea. It was somebody else's own. But I think I seen it on Simple Sarah's channel. Could have been Yvonne's on My Little Tulips. I don't know. I don't know. But I thought it was simple Sarah. Simply Sarah. So. I learn a lot from other people's channels. That's why I, I get upset when I lose. Like some people stop making videos. I'm like, oh. Because you can learn so much stuff from other people. I mean, it'd be simple stuff too. Sometimes it's just a matter of. The way they dress their babies, like, um, who was it? I think it was My Little Tulip I first seen. She would put the onesie on the outside of the pants, and it made it look like they had on leggings. And I thought that was so cute. Look at me, got extra cotton, sorry. Um, and I thought it was just so cute. 
and I finally tried it, got around to trying it, and it just worked out really good. So this is one of the outfits that came home with him that I've never put him on, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on him. It may be a little big. I don't know. It looks like it's cut really big, but he remember when he came home. He was on a way much bigger body that I thought was like too much for him. So, um, if it is too big, that, that would explain why. But I think it's going to work. But um, he has a really big head and maybe they thought that the sculptor thought that that body was the way to go because his head is big. I mean, it's proportionate though, because babies' heads are typically bigger than their little body. He's always trying to sleep and get comfortable. Look, that make it look like he had a bald spot when I turned to that angle, but he doesn't have a bald spot. Let's part it. Tell you, I'm always worried about the way something come across on the camera but um nope he can fit it I have to cover up his little leggies no but that's okay I had put these on Kingston just a few moments ago just to see if he could fit them he could fit them they're a little baggy but I guess I'll let him wear his outfit first before his brother wears it since it's his outfit. See, since it's my outfit, my Vegas pool, and I like to put him in stuff that I'm going to like to look at him for a while because I don't change him that often. I don't change him that often. I like looking at him. So... Oh, that was another thing the lady was saying um, in a video. I keep talking about her videos because I've been watching. Like, that's what happened when I get a new channel, and they have previous videos, and I've, you know, I'm new to the channel. I'll go back and kind of watch their old videos. And um, she was talking about she bought very expensive clothes for her babies, and um, but they only have so many, just a few outfits because. She she just bought, buys only stuff that she really, really likes, I guess. And um, I could get that. At first, when I, I mean, you guys know that followed my channel for a while. You never see my baby with the same outfit on, on videos. I used to change their clothes so much. And that's why I think I've accumulated so many clothes over time. But now I don't buy like that anymore. I just buy what I really, really like. If I see something that really, really catches my eye for one of my babies, I'll buy that. And then, but that's the only way I'll buy. Now, I don't just buy just to be buying. And I used to, I wouldn't buy for one without buying for everybody. And I stopped doing that too. Um, but yeah, she was saying she only had like four or five outfits or something like that. But I could see how that, that is because I used to say, oh, I have to, you know, change them every day or every other day or, you know, keep them changed. But now I just like seeing them in the same. I'll put them on something and I like seeing them in it. And I just, I'm like, you know what? It's okay. They can wear, you know, more than, more than once. Look at this little hoodie. We got a hoodie. We got a hoodie. Oh, he looks so cute. Look at there. I really like him. <laughs> Do you want to suck your tummy? <laughs> you want to suck his thumb? Are you sucking your thummy? Don't suck your thumb. Let me give you your pacifier that mommy just made for you. Look at it. Perfect. <laughs> so yeah, guys, that's a quick way to make um, pacifiers, and it works so nicely. I really like that. I could put on his hood if I wanted to. See if I was to take him out. Put him on his hood like that. And so here is, and I have him in his little hood, and people wouldn't know that he's not real. 
because I have them all cozied up. Okay, I have them all cozied up, and nobody would know or suspect a thing. But even being that his hair is rooted so nicely, even with his hair out, they wouldn't know. Yeah, that one. They wouldn't know if they it was laying there. You just got to have them laying the right way. They can't be sitting straight up or he has to have a little bit of a slump. Doesn't have a little bit of a slump because that's how they are. They always like balled up. So yeah. So let's go over that really quickly again. What I did. All I did was have my magnet. I cut the nipple off and all the little extras around here seeing what side the magnet went on and placed it on the thing and put the little band-aid on it so these are called clear spot band-aids and they're actually there they are perfect 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 um, I really that's the best idea somebody could have ever came up with the best idea now I don't mind making pacifiers I'm gonna make up a whole bunch of them actually um, for him today because there I have quite a bit of them that I was like oh he would look so cute with us but then I don't feel like it and then my kids are crafty and they're always you know doing stuff so they use my um they use my hot gun, gun a lot of times and then I have to Ask who got the hot gun and all that stuff, and I don't be really feeling like that. So they also, you know, kids. I don't care how old they are; they love band aids too. So I'm gonna have to put away my band aids too, so that they don't use up my band aids. But yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching Mr. Vegas. That's Mama Baby. Mm. He is all set. Oh, I know what I forgot to say in one of my videos about quirky things that I like. That I do. That probably sounds weird. I like to smell the babies. I like to smell my babies. So, I'm always giving them like either if they have like a powdery scent. Or I spray their clothes so they have that really baby smell. And whatever I put in their hair, I have to smell almost baby too. And, um, cause I always kiss them in the top of their head, but the smell is, I like to smell them smelling like babies. I really like the baby smell. Uh, so yeah. And usually when people get babies from me, it's funny cause they all say the same thing. They're like, what is it that you're using on your babies? They smell like, and I really don't know what it is that makes them other than the wafers. Sometime when I reweight them, I put a few in their body. But I suffer with migraines, so I don't like it overwhelming. So I don't do all my babies. Like, I don't have them all saturated with, you know, the wafers in their body. Some of the times I put it in their diaper because that way I can control the scent. Because if I'm having a migraine episode, I can't hold that particular baby or be around it or anything. Um, Paris was one of the babies that I kept without any sense on her because I knew I always wanted to hold her and something Yogi does anyway they always have this some kind of smell to them that smells really good so it didn't she didn't really need it anyway but um yeah it was um that's one of the things but anyway I am going to get going now I'm so excited about that so I'm going to go make some pacifiers. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, subscribing, and commenting. I do get back to my comments. It may take me a little while, but I do get back to them. And I do read every last one of them, like, when you make them. So, I don't, I read my comments every day, all day. It's just a matter of trying to get to them to comment, to reply. See you later.